All right. Hello. Let's see. It looks like we are recording. Yes. We're ready to go. Welcome back to the Adventures Guide to the Galaxy. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Now, this is a video request that we got from a one high desert pioneer. And I know that Freedom by Me would also be very happy to see this video drop. So, Happy New Year. Like I said, it's uh, be January 2nd, probably like 8 or 9 in the morning by the time you guys see this video. Welcome. So, today is this, uh, the high tech homestead. Now, this video is a video request I got from the one high desert pioneer. Um, I kind of, well, he requested somebody to uh, answer. So I guess it'd be a video request to it. So this is talking about, um, you know, all this different type of stuff that's going on in the United States of America. You know, they have the immigration, the border crisis, the cartels, the, 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 the people from all different kinds of all different countries coming across the border, having all different types of agendas you know violent uh drugs you know human trafficking all these different types of stuff um so this is my video response to that because he was um asking about you know rogue uh, agencies within the government and all these different types of people using drones and robot dogs and all these different types of things now this is just look at this i just typed this into the uh thing right here as you can see the youtube here you can find it on any like search engine or anything else just cartels or whoever because like i said cartel doesn't mean mexican let me just throw that out there it means anybody like they have chinese cartels out of uh all type all different types of places here in the united states and they're definitely getting down but like i said people don't know about that stuff so uh, like i said that's where all this fentanyl is coming from it's all different types of people are doing different types of stuff and it's turning up look at it just a basic search comes up with this all these different types of things uh cartels mexican army arming Mexican cartels, excuse me, arming themselves with powerful sniper rifles because, like I said, um, U.S. government, random people, everybody's just doing whatever they want. Regular people follow the rules. Everybody else does not. So now you have things like this using drones to transport drugs. Um, like I said, Mexican cartels using uh, people that will come here. They can do whatever they want. Now they're just handing stuff to whoever. Uh, people who are from here can buy it, uh, which is not very likely unless they come here like they're knowingly doing it. Uh, you could get CNC machines, 3D printers, like anybody can do whatever they want. It's um, pretty, I mean, I don't even know why they blame America. I mean, other countries make guns and sell it to Americans. So it just doesn't even have to stop, get here first. It can stop there. So like I said, just, you know, stupid stuff like USA striking and doing all this stuff. It's like stupid stuff. But if you yourself are out West, my, my idea of the solution is every regular person and just local municipalities, instead of going into Mexico, first of all, uh, you know, stop the fentanyl and all this other stuff. You could just, you know, that's a completely different video. But set like the more importantly, every person can have like a better, uh, better security system around their house in the knowledge uh, to possess. Like I said, Mexican cartels engage in firefights and miles from the Texas border. There's been tons of these things. Um, if every regular person knows a little bit more about what's going on and what you can do to, uh, you know, to deal with that, then that would be fine. Let me just check my time here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, we're looking good. So, like I said, there's all kinds of stuff going on. I mean, you it's it depends on what type of news you watch. But like I said, the battle against drone smuggling. So we're going to go over some things that I found. So I have this playlist on my channel. You go to my playlist. It's called a high tech, excuse me, high tech homestead crew. These are videos that I put in here of just a bunch of different things that I found across YouTube or the Internet that you can like actually use, whether you can afford it or not. Just the thought of thinking about a lot of this stuff, it actually isn't very expensive. Now, I have a couple <clears throat> up here. This uh, Anduril, which is like a new company that will help operate within the United States. Because, in the, like I said, this isn't Ukraine or Russia. You're not going to be, you know, using jamming. Like I said, uh, in the next video, we're going to go over um, more of the rules, like in the state. Because, like I said, this is for the high tech. This is the high tech pioneer. Excuse me, the high desert pioneer, high tech homestead crew. We're going to go over like the more specific laws for Nevada because, like I said, I went over a lot of them. Uh, I read through them, and I think it's like um, you can't weaponize drones, you can't um, jam or do any like you know any countermeasures like of like electronic uh, you know countermeasures or any like type of jamming or any type of crazy stuff like that. Because, like I said, it depends on where you live also because uh, you don't want to live near airport like major you know um, major uh, institutions like uh, you know like they have a concrete. A facility or they have like an airport or they have like a navy base or they have like a you know stadiums they have all different types of things that have like all these different signals that there's all types of stuff going on most people may not think about and you same thing for like ham radio if you're like keying in and just doing whatever you want like firefighters police emt or whatever you're just jumping up on all the frequencies you're going to get yourself a lot of trouble so i read through a lot of that stuff and 
um, in most states, except for like certain areas of Virginia and DC, uh, you can't have like radars. Now it's really hard to find a lot of this stuff. Cause like it keeps coming up with like little police radar things, but um, these are some of the things I found these videos in here. Like I said, this is what these are for anti drone system um, homemade V tail push of this guy in England right here. You can make also, which is important. You can make these, which is a homemade um, autonomous UAV for long range FPV and autonomous missions. Um, Cause he's like in the, in the UK, he like flies around farms and stuff. But like I said, security, if you're concerned about cartels and all these other people in your land going out there and, you know, trying to find out where they're at that is a little bit difficult but if you had like a small drone with thermal on it like i said you can buy all the guns in the world to second amendment but if you have a good uh, nice drone with thermal you could just literally search out the area you already have security cameras in place not very expensive um yeah this day and age uh from the amount of money you're spending on guns you can you can do a lot so now let's go through some of the technology like i said um i drew a map of the uh, hypothetical high desert pioneer house. I don't actually know what your house looks like, sir. So I drew this for you. Oh, you know, don't, you know forgive my skills here because I'm not necessarily the best artist here. So this is the little compound. Now let's just say this is what you have going on here. You know, you got your little garden, like little rows of gardening. Um, I just did a very basic model. You know, they have like a little raised box with some vegetables and things in it. Got his little Jeep, got the door, got all the little you know, the little walk pad here, little bushes by the door. This is the house. Great. So, um, yeah. So like I said, you're just hanging out, doing your thing. And then all of a sudden, let's see if I can find it. One of these, a little drone, you see. This right here is a valley, which is down here. So you can see the drone comes from way down here. Let's just say it's down here. And it takes off from like this little forest. I mean, these little sticks aren't necessarily a forest. Let's just say there's some trees. And it just takes off. And it's just kind of just hovering right over here. Right. So in the Nevada law, I think that you can't um, take action because I think it says take action, uh, take action against a drone that's under 250 feet. So like I say, once it's you can still look at it and still do whatever you want. But like I said, once it's over like a certain distance uh, close to your house, like under 250 feet, then, you, you know, you can you know, you can say, hey, I feel um, I feel like I'm being threatened and this is they're doing some weird stuff. Like I said, especially because if this is the end of the world or this is some type of scenario um, they have this Civil War trailer going on. They have all this other stuff. Obviously, the rules are going to be a little different when there are none. But as of right now, I'm not telling anybody to break the law. But like I said, this is what they have uh, currently. And like I said, they're allowing the cartel to weaponize drones and they're doing drugs and all this other stuff. So nobody really cares. Um, but like I said, if you know, if you're in the major city area, that's when they would probably the most of the people that get fines because a lot of it's a lot of fines. Uh, they find people all the time for doing stupid stuff with drones, harassing people, and everything like that. Um, that's the one thing. But if you're out here in the, you know, beautiful little stick forest and everything, this is actually supposed to represent a real forest. This is like, you know, going downhill. Then, yeah, so you're out there by yourself. The world is going crazy. People are on TV. Oh, my God, it's a war. Let's just say that's that's what's, let's, let's just say the scenario. Civil War stuff is going on, but it's not as cringe as the little movie that just came out on Netflix or wherever it was at. Um, there's a bunch of different type of Civil War and um, cyber attack type of stuff going on. So, Let's just say you're sitting here and you see this. Oh, my God. There's this little drone right here hovering. And let's just say it's right there. And you see it. You don't really know what's going on. So you go outside and you walk and you're standing there and you look and see this drone. This is something that's very uncomfortable because I've walked outside my house. <clears throat> you see a drone um, and you try to look around. And let's say you like you walk over to the edge of this little cliff here. You're looking all over here. You don't see anybody. You look down here. You don't see anybody. But like I said, by that time, <clears throat> the drone could have moved. It could have went anywhere. It could take pictures. It's already like seen you come in and out of your house. You're going to be having a bad day. And let's just say the drone disappears and goes away. Now you don't know. And it goes back and lands or goes wherever. You don't know what's going on. So what do you do? First, um, yeah, you'd probably be pretty concerned. Uh, but second of all, the, ne the first thing I would do would be to get some security cameras. So let's say that... High Desert Pioneer wants to get a security system. Now, my suggestion, me, would be to get something like this. What I have right here, I don't know if you can see this. This is a Swan, S-W-A-N-N. -N. I'll put the uh, link in the description. It's a little security uh, system, but it's a wired system. So it's not Wi-Fi. It's a closed net system, and it has a mouse. Just like how I'm doing this, the little screens pop up on the actual screen like it's a computer program. So you can run it off a laptop or... 
this little thing. It has like a little DVR. It's just DVR and television. You don't even need anything else. And you can hook it to the internet if you want to, but I choose not to so that no one can like hack into my stuff. Um, yeah, so let's go back here. And let's see. One second. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> we are back. Now, I have this uh, very funnily timed Carrie Lake uh, documentary here in Arizona. This is nine years ago. So, like I said, uh, you're being attacked by drones. You don't know what to do. Um, there's all kinds of stuff going on. You've seen in Ukraine, you've seen like the FPV drones. Those are very, very serious these days. Those are the same type of drones that everybody's using. You don't want to get caught lacking. So, like I said, you start with your I would start with like a very nice laptop. Again, you can have all the guns in the world. People are like, I got all the guns and the ammo and everything else. Someone comes with a little drone and takes care of all of that, a little Amazon drone. I got, I've seen it since 2013 in Syria. I've been telling people they started using um, commercial drones off of Amazon and all this other stuff, modifying them with little whatever. That's what you're going up against. Now, they do have them on Amazon, all these different types of modifications that are legal. And I'm, I've came up with some ideas to help you. Now, this is not me, but this is a Carrie Lake nine-year-old uh, video, and we're going to see what they have going on here. I don't, I don't know if you guys can hear this or not, so I'm going to talk over it. So they're talking about sports shooting in the Valley, and they have this guy here. He started this thing where he has these little drones, and he flies them and tests flies, and people shoot at them with shotguns at the shotgun range. This is in Arizona. I don't know if this gentleman still does business now. I'd have to look it up. And see if that guy still does business but he has like a, if you could watch this video um again this video will be in the uh, description with the uh, high tech homes the high tech homestead playlist and uh, yeah so he has these little let me go back here hold on a second so he has these little uh tannerite little type deals on there so when you hit it with a shotgun it actually or i don't, I don't know if it's tannerite but it's some type of deal it's not because you need a more higher pressure round to take off tanner for tannerite to, to go off He's got some type of firework or some type of device here that when you hit it, it'll burst, as you can see. And then you'll actually be able to tell when you actually shoot it, because unless you hit the mechanisms that will actually take it down, it's not going to it may or may not do anything. As you can see, they have some of these semi-auto shotguns and they're in interviewing the guy here. He's a really cool guy. But like I said, this is a um, like a very interesting idea. Like I said, this is the type of thing you'd go and practice. Like I said, you can even see that this is made of. This is made of like the stuff that the, you know, you know, on the side of the road, if you're in America, you know, they have people with businesses that are spinning and flipping signs and stuff, a little, the little uh, fiberglass or plastic sign. That's what that's made of with a little thing right here, a tiny little engine up top and a little transmitter receiver. That's all you need. That's, this is like a, a look at this, look, remote control RC plane, um, remote control uh, cars, you know, little, these, you, these engines are everywhere. You could make them, you could even come up with them. You could do anything. Um, they're making these in Iraq, Afghanistan. They're making, or not necessarily as much as Afghanistan, but in Iraq and Syria. Um, Iran makes a lot of these. Uh, the Houthis are using stuff like this, just like this. This is what it is. This is nine years old, but like I said, they have more advanced versions because Russia purchased a bunch. But um, this is what it is. This is what's going on. So, like I said, shotgun for when it gets to close to you. Like I said, the the little stationary, like this FPV drones, like stationary, they can hover and they can dive and all this stuff. These are a lot faster, but they can carry because they're fixed wing carry much more payload, does a lot more damage. But like I said, this guy's helping people practice. So like I said, if you're skate shooting, um, probably hit this guy up and you could probably, you know, get a little bit of practice there. And like I said, they had the lady, she went and tried it out. It was pretty fun. So that's cool. And so now you'll say, well, let's go back to our high tech homestead here. So let's put a drone back up in the sky. And let's say you see it again the second time, but the second time it's dipping down a little bit closer. And now you're having a problem. You're like, okay, what am I going to do here? You know what I'm saying? Like, what are we doing? Like, what's, what's the deal? How do I, what do I do? So thankfully you'll have watched my video by then and you will have gotten yourself a nice little computer system. Now this isn't exactly the one that you would have. We're going to go over some of the systems that they do have that they're like packaged up. But um, those are going to be a lot more expensive. You can actually put together your own because, like I said, if you're using Windows or any type of Linux or stuff like that, um, it's a lot easier to, like, have your own stuff and hooked up. So let's just say that you put this right here. 
in the house. Boom, look at that. So now, when you're coming out here, you're going outside, you're like, oh, wow, there's a drone right there. And then you walk back in your house, and then you go on the television, and now you're looking up, and you have like a bigger version when you're actually seeing it, or you're going to have an app on your phone. So when you're out there, you have cameras that are already set up on the corners of your house, looking in all the good directions. Went out to the little the, the Pioneer Jeep, went out here, so you could take your little thing, your little device with you. So then you can see it if you're out in the garden doing whatever. You're like, oh wow, look! And you can look on the app because uh, some of them, again, you can have a closed net system where your phone is connected to it, or you can have another type of device uh, like a laptop outside or a small computer outside, and you could have like your outside computer hooked up to the system. Again, closed net system, so it's not on like Wi-Fi, which is why I wouldn't have like an actual wired laptop. Or you could just run back inside when you get an alert on your phone because you can have an app. But then you can also have if there's still cell service and all this other stuff. It, it'll be a little bit weird because, like I said, um, you won't know if cell service may be up or down uh, because of the fake civil war scenario that we're talking about right now. But uh, like I said, you might have some way to um, have an app on your phone if service is still up. And then, you know, you would go back in and you'd get on here and then you would check it out. So let's look at some systems that would be able to help you out. So this, what is this? Here we go. So here's one. This is the Aronia drone detection system. Welcome to Aronia drone detection system demonstration. So like I said, this is like a sped up version of these, uh, these two gentlemen setting it up uh, off the back of his car. Like I said, this is one of the things that was in the little uh, thing that I dropped on my uh, community tab. Uh, this little, they have like these little small dome radars. Now there's all, when it comes to actually owning and operating a radar in the United States, again, radars that are passive, that don't actually throw anything out. A lot of places I've been reading, again, I'm going to find a lot of this stuff and put it in the description. Uh, I talked to one of my friends who's um, also an uh, aircraft mechanic. Mike, if you're watching this, what's up, dude? Uh, they talked about, because he, he was looking at it too. You can buy these for boats. You can buy the radars for boats. But uh, like, like I said, the jamming and all that other stuff, that's like for military and other people, contractors only. You can't even buy like the little radar guns and stuff like that. So a lot of people, maybe depending on the state you live in, you may have to have a business or LLC. Like I said, if you have like a homestead, you have like a farm, you have like a small business and you're running it and you have a problem with drones, uh, the authorities aren't doing anything. Then you could use your LLC business farm, um, personal hobby business, whatever, and say, oh, I, in order to protect myself, I need to purchase this device from my company. And then you get this. Um, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna look and try to find more stuff and put it in the description because this, like I said, it's different state by state. But um, also, it's like a very new type of thing, so the rules aren't necessarily coming out as fast as you would like. They're still trying to figure it out here and there. They're trying to make sure people don't mess up airplanes and all types of other stuff. Um, to fly a drone, you might need a ham radio license. Like I said, this is a jammer. You can't use this if you're a regular civilian for no reason. Um, people might just do it anyway because they're fucking. They don't care. But uh, like I said, this is just talking about all the different types of components here. So like I said, the command center, like I said, just pops out of a thing. Just like in the military, we have these big green cases. Everything comes out. You got the command center. All the different uh, types of things are connected to this you know, type of device right here. And this is the uh, tracking antenna. Like I said, this is the 3D RF array. Um, this is what's like you have a map right here. As you can see, like they'll have a map, and this is what's like sensing out. It's, it's like passively listening out to uh, see all the different types of stuff like airplanes they can sense, um, you know, small drones, even people, depending on what type of one it is. This one doesn't necessarily probably doesn't do people because it's facing upwards and it's like kind of going out and up. They have other ones that can like look down to sense people. We'll also check that one out too. So like I said, this is the uh, tracking antenna. Let's see. Look at that. Drone operator distance five kilometers. Now the system has detected a drone and it's operator's distance five kilometers. So this camera that's getting this picture right here, this is something different. There's like, if they have like a camera system, it might have like a little tower that you just like crank and it'll go up like this. And you can say, hey, it's over here. Look on the map and then you'll look over there. And if it's not behind a building, like I said, because it's line of sight, you should be able to see it. Because like I said, this looks like it's on an open hill and it's like you can see it from where they're actually sitting. It might have like something on top of the Jeep. I haven't watched this video yet. So look at that. Here you can see a map view of the drone detection software showing an approximate position and direction of the drone uh, and the operator. Like I said, this looks like, I believe this looks like uh, somewhere in Europe. Like I said, this is a company. They're doing this in Europe or somewhere that's not necessarily in America. So like I said, the, the rules are different. Um, 
this is a company they can do whatever they want. Regular civilians, I don't necessarily know because uh, I don't know what country this is. So, again, like I said, I looked and I, I actually looked up a lot of these. Some of these companies won't sell to civilians and some of them will. So it just depends. You have to look it up. You can send them an email, send them a nicely worded email, and you can pretty much do anything in the world once you uh, do that. So like I said, software is giving you an acoustic and a visual warning to include the drone type and all this other stuff. Now, I remember in a couple of the things that I read, um, deciphering more information about the drone is like a Fourth Amendment violation. I'm not really sure. If anybody knows in the comments, you can put that down below. But um, certain things about the drone you can ascertain with your technology and other things you can't. Okay, so I just... Again, this is like some of the stuff. This is like one of the things I use in the military with something like this. It's like a spectrum analyzer to like show you when you find something. But like I said, a drone approaches the protected area. You can decide if you want to take countermeasures. Now, the countermeasures that you're going to have to do, uh, we here in America, because, you know, you may live near something, you may, you know, whatever, might be a lot different than, let's say, in Ukraine. They could just start blasting out a bunch of waves, you know, laser beams, drones, missiles, and other type of stuff. We're not doing that because, like I said, you have like this little European Union thing here. So, like I said, um, they're going to use like a jamming device, right? Let's see. The jammer is activated and the drone immediately goes to the hover and sense itself protocol. And then after like a certain amount of time, most drones are just calibrated to just land wherever they're at. Like I said, you see it has all the information it detects. Um, that's a, a little detection system. So... That's one type of thing. Now, <clears throat> if you are like Mr. High Desert Pioneer and you are now in this position to where you have your little computer set up. Now, there's much there's many different ways you can do this. There's many uh, there's uh, lower tech ways. Like I said, you can <clears throat> design your own system if you just there's a bunch of different stuff. I'll see if I can find um, I'll see if I can find a, uh, a way to like just figure out a system or a program which one's like the most basic or you can make your own I'll, I'll figure it out so now you have your little tv system set up you got your cameras at the corner of the building let's see you got your little uh i'll just make this represent the camera system because uh drawing every individual camera would be, probably take too long so then we have this boom little camera system you got your cameras facing downward so that no like regular little small stuff is going on and then you know just like in that little video, you have the person, which is many, like maybe like five kilometers, three miles away, a couple miles away. Like this might be two to three miles away, launching a drone and you see this. So now you can detect the person. Let's see. Got some stickers here. And let's say because it's the end of the world cartel, Chinese cartel, South American cartel, U.S. government helped everybody in the world just hating on high desert pioneer world they got a little vehicle boom look at that a couple miles away just so you can see it this is what it actually looks like armored vehicle right armored vehicle has now approached a couple miles away from your <coughs> uh your residence uh, we're in the scenario civil war weirdo we don't know what's going on you can see that like i said a lot better with your eye than with the camera you see this you're like hey i don't know what's going on but again it is posted up boom look at that over there. Now you got a unknown masked gentleman with AK 47s speaking English that is good, but then many other languages type of people. They got a drone flying over your house. You got this looking crazy, right? But again, because you watched my video, you got your camera system set up, you got the immediate perimeter taken care of. And now we're going to start to figure out how to dial back that onion and see if we can figure out what's going on here. So now you can do this. Your own way, like I said, you can look on the internet on eBay or I don't, uh, yeah, I probably use eBay or whatever other systems. I don't like to use Amazon, but they have them on there. Uh, for the it, for the static security, for the closed net ones, you'll have the cameras around your house. And then for the, let's see, which one is this? This is the drone sentry tower. You can have, you can make your own tower. You can just get like a remote control uh, camera with a stick. I, my friend had one of these back in 2009. Um, it was for his, like the inside of his house. Um, you can set up one of these again. There's, you know, inexpensive ways to do it. And there's more expensive ways to do it. Right. Um, look at this. You can set up a little tower. You can make your own, or you could purchase like, if you have tens of thousands of dollars, look at that. Boom. You can have the tower. Thing. This is how they actually saw the person over there. A little tower set up, solar panels, a little, little head shave thing look, looking good. 
Look at that. Perfect. High desert. Little tower sticking up. You can raise the boom, go like this, and it raises up like that. Boom. Just like that. You can even make your own. Like I said, they have um, those booms for uh, for whenever there's like a concert or something, and they have like those, those small generator with the lights, and you have like the little light boom thing that goes up. You can get them at Home Depot or wherever else. This is just like that, except you put a camera up there, have an extra wire. Uh, so whenever it goes up, the wire extends out with it. Um, you're not necessarily going to have a bunch of stuff like this because you're not a government institution organization or something else. But if you have your own computer system, you know, you have like a little DVR, a little, you know, couple, a little server, a little tiny little couple terabyte hard drive. You could do all kinds of stuff. Like I said, they're doing it overseas in places where they barely have any electricity or water. They got all types of stuff. You're not going to necessarily have all of this. Let's see. Here's the problem. Let's see. Like I said, you live in a place like this. It's a re very remote. So like I said, you can have probably a lot more uh, different types of stuff because it's very remote. You're going to need a lot of these different types of things. And uh, like I said, they got in like immigrations going on, all types of stuff. But again, when you have <clears throat> a good security system. Okay, hold on a second. So when you have like a decent enough security system, whenever somebody is a couple of miles away, you know, if there's any of your buddies who live over here or somebody, you know, you say, Hey, I see a drone. You call down one of your buddies who's over here, you know, he'll say, Hey, maybe I've seen some stuff. And then boom, let's see, you get the tower. Let's see if I have anything to represent the tower here. I don't, let's just put another one here. We'll just put another one on top of it to write, to symbolize the tower. So boom, now you have your tower and you are zooming in and you can see this. Hey, Check it out. High Desert Pioneer, balling. So then, like I said, once you're able to identify the tower, boom, look at that. That's the solution here in America. They have another drone. Just hit that drone because you can't use missiles. Lasers you can't really use. I mean, if you're if you're a, if you're like a laser tech, maybe you know how to do all that stuff. But again, using lasers and shining them all over the place uh, might get you in trouble with the FAA, um, depending if you're close to an airport or not. If you're out in the middle of nowhere and no one ever see you, that might be a different story. But Again, um, lasers can destroy the, the little optical sensors on a lot of these cameras and drones, so it could do that. Or, like I said, because it's very hard to have a, you know, a, a type of weapon to take that down because you can't use a jamming technology, uh, a lot of people have decided <clears throat> you could just hit, take one drone and hit that drone with another one. So that's what we'll sh they show like right here. They have a drone. With a little camera on it because like i said these these smaller drones are very inexpensive you see what i'm saying like they're actually not that expensive look on the internet you can get a drone for like 200 bucks a hum one 200 right seems expensive for something that you're going to make attack and hit something else but that's the price that you pay in order to have the capability of taking out a drone without breaking all these laws or like i said depending on the scenario if it's civil war and all this other stuff it's whatever but again a small drone with like um again an idea i came up with have a small like little racing drone. They have them all over the place. That's why the FPV, Russia and Ukraine, they're, they have them all over the place because they're actually not that expensive to make or to acquire. Um, if you want to keep your drone, have like a quick release program and just a bunch of fishing wire just underneath it. You just take it. Once it gets in the propellers of this other drone, quick release, that thing is done. And then once it falls to the ground, you can pick it up and then you can use the technology intel and then you can find out who those people are, take the card out, you can read all of their footage, see what they're up to, and then you can see who those people are. Boom, look at that. <clears throat> and like I said, depending on how your drone is, you can have like little cages around the little propellers. You can actually make sure that your uh, drone is reusable and you can have multiple different uses out of every drone that's an interceptor drone Then you can, um, instead of having to purchase one every time. Like I said, this is the Lattice. This is their computer you can track. They have all different types of stuff. But again, you can also download your own types of programs. There's all different types of stuff. You can Linux your way through this. You can do all kinds of things. Um, again, this is a jamming device that I, you know, we cannot use. But again, drone warfare, un unmanned systems, they're all over the place. People are using them. Again, re remote control cars, RC planes. It's just a different version of that. And if you had them as a kid, you have them now as an adult. And look at this. You can buy high-end cameras. You can make your own. You can put them together. Um, technology is pretty, it's pretty dynamic with all the different types of things you can do. So like I said, once you get like a nice uh, joystick camera, like a, a, a controllable camera, then you can look up because it's, uh, a lot of security cameras are looking down or they have like a bubble camera, like 360 camera kind of. But if you want like high resolution, 
You want to be able to look in any direction and like, hey, look, I saw something. And then you want to actually go in your house and try to figure out where it is. I would suggest getting an actual um, like a movable joystick camera if you're on a place like that. Have that on top of your house. You can see all around your house, right? While like the static camera system will be able to see like the just the basic surroundings so nobody moves or comes close to your house or anything like that. You know what I mean? So there's that. So here's this uh, Andrew. This guy has just recently come out not too long ago. He's the guy who came up with the uh, the drone hitting the drone technology. Like I said, it comes in. You can build your own. Or you can have a team if you depending on how much money you have. Low, uh, you know, low to high uh, cost solutions. This guy he's talking about um, what they should have at the border. All the things that they do have. You see him setting it up, but apparently this is just for the commercial because in real life they're not stopping anything. Or maybe like maybe they are actually seeing it. They're not doing anything about it. So like I said, they got the good base. <clears throat> and then once that goes up, they can see for miles, many, many miles. And like I said, it doesn't necessarily require a whole lot. Once it's actually set up, you got like three solar panels right here, the weights, the little uh, cord, a little cable right here, and a tower and that. Like I said, it doesn't take a whole lot. If you can decide, you can design one of your own things. You have like a windmill or let's say even this, like I said, you have a ladder right here. You put a ladder up to this tree. And if you only have the camera, you don't have this thing, but you got some solar panels, take this, put it on top of the tree so it doesn't look like a tower. So if they are surveilling your house, they're going to see this tree, eh, like, yeah, whatever. And then you're, you know, make sure that the little things don't grow in front of the camera. You can tape the, some of the living, you can bend, because if you cut them, they'll, they'll die. It'll look different. You can bend the fronds. These are like this palm tree, little palm fronds. To in front of the camera so it'll go like this it'll always look and like i said it'll conceal the color of the camera or unless you want to paint it won't even be able to tell it's in the tree the little wire run up the tree boom you're done just like that but like i said that's not that's if you don't want to have these guys come and put up this one this shouldn't be too difficult once it's hooked up like i said everything's uh taken care of that you know they'll they'll teach you how to do everything look at this you have like your own little Little like it looks like a little Windows, like, like a Windows computer. They have the settings, they have layers, assets, everything. Boom! Look at that. You can say, "Hey, I want to protect this zone. I want this to be a." Um, I think in the video he was talking about this dark zone right here. He wants uh, the camera to not record his own stuff. So even if it does get hacked or, or found into, they won't take the camera and they won't be able to look down and see anything. And then you have your own little intro system to protect the inner side. But again, this is just for the outside area. <clears throat> I did watch this video. Like I said, he's teaching because he's a contractor, same thing in the military. You're in the military or you're in the sheriff's department. You're in the whatever civilian. You take a course. They have the contractor come in. He'll teach you and explain to you how the system works. These guys will be the technical professionals who would learn to set it up like two or three times. We've done this with other different systems. We'll like, hey, this is some new fangled system. Set it up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times in a week. Turn it on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven times in a week, actively acquire a satellite or actively do this or actively find a drone or whatever multiple times that you like have actually done it multiple, multiple times. You go back to your group of people, friends, family, unit, uh, neighborhood, whatever, and then you tell them how it, and then you teach them the same way. That's how that, that you do technology. So basic or whatever. And then you have your friends run drones or throw baseballs around it. So you see if it can track the thing or have your friend go out on a hike. And then you can control them now. See, just like this, now you have the sheriff who's from this department. He's operating it, and he may not have even seen or known any of this like a long time ago. But like I said, once you have the confidence and people help you do it long enough, then you'll feel great. And like I said, and you can go and you can look like this and be very, very concerned. Like, wow, this is actually very serious. Wow, oh, my God. Now we see how serious the problem is, and then he's explaining more about it. And like I said, once it's completely set up, you would just see this. I mean, if you've been out in the desert, you see like random weird stuff. You're like, is that a tower? Was that a radio tower? You never know what it really anything is. So you just see that. Boom. Pretty much done. Like I said, if you have a tree, you have a windmill, you have a farm, a barn, or you have any other other higher structure object if your house is on a hill, set one of these up and you can look all the way around and all kinds of stuff. You can see what's going on. So like I said, um, let me see if this is the one. I don't think this is it. No, this is not it. So go back to High Tech Homestead. I thought that was it. Am 
That was just the wrong one. I think this is... No, what happened to it? Anyway, so like I said, um, all different types of radars. I got to find the actual video of the one that I saw. Where is it? This is crazy. I can't find the video. I think this is it. Yeah, this is it. So this guy, uh, like I said, he said for the first time in 65 years, U.S. ground forces are under attack from enemy aircraft, primarily small drones. Countering them is very difficult. What did it say? Countering them is very difficult, uh, costing only hundreds of dollars. We should be ready for this, and we aren't. That's something that I've been telling people for a long time is that they're not ready for this because, like I said, they're do they're very effective. And people will talk about Russia, this and that. Russia and Ukraine are able to shoot down more drones themselves than we can shoot down small drones. We're having a very hard time shooting down these small drones. They're getting in. Like I said, then when you have these contractors and programs with these small things, for some reason they're not utilizing them because they're, you know, military, blah, 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 politics. They don't actually want to win, my opinion, whatever. Um, but if you want to win, this is what you can do. You can actually take – send this guy an email. You know what I'm saying? Send this company an email and say, hey, look, I live out here. I have my business, my family trying to protect it. This is what we're trying to do. So he has this system here where it's, this again, the camera with this, this the laser, the seeking device. This will look around. Sense tower, long range uh, – sentry tower, excuse me, long range, radar, and MWIR combined with hardened onboard AI processing. Again, this is what a lot of other people have. And if you're worried about AI and all these other things, you have your closed net system. So they're not going to be able to hack into you unless they actually clip into one of the wires and they can actually like hack in that way, which is very difficult. And if you're dealing with that type of person, that's pretty insane. Uh, but if you have uh, fiber optic cables, they're going to need something to be able to read the light that comes out of the cables, which would be even more difficult. So like I said, Wi-Fi and cloud computing and all that stuff, that's usually how people get hacked because it's really easy. Or if they take a a thumb drive and they'll stick it into your actual physical computer and then all this stuff starts spreading. That's also a way that they can do it. Um, like I said, if you have your own closed net system and you have this and you have something like this, you may not necessarily have the ability to, let's see if this is the thing. Yeah. So in this one, again, he has this, this system that automatically opens up and has these three things that just launch out onboard autonomous guidance intercepted drone threats again because you can't have missiles lasers and jamming technology and all this stuff it's not in ukraine this is in america like as whereas the other one that was a jamming one was in europe with the little land rover with the thing in the back this is the interceptor one this is in the united states of america because this is the type of stuff we have to have look at this boom the little drone heads over to the uh little little sensor right here as you can see bam takes it out bam look at that bam takes him down Thermal camera watches it. Either. Look, fixed wing. Boom. Took him down. Bam. Ripped right through that thing. And like I said, your drone, depending on how you design it, because like I said, you can tinker with it at home as much as you want. And do real. Like I said, you can design your own type of drone, and you can just take them out all day. Fishing wire, or just like a string or something. You just drag it over that drone, like have yours just go right near it. Boom. Just like that. Done. So... Let's say you're the high desert pioneer and you got the tower, you got your little thing going on. You see somebody messing around over here. You say, all right, <clears throat> you have your little window in your house, a little window of your house. Let's just say there's a window here and you got the tower. You're sitting here. You're looking at your thing. You have your little joystick camera. You're zoomed in. You have, you, then you, Pull down your little FPV goggles, also not too expensive, maybe like 900 bucks if you can find them. You might be able to find on eBay for 700 but I, you know, they're about 900 to 1100 bucks for the DJI ones. You can make a, your own. They have smaller versions for like a couple hundred dollars. Boom, you take your drone. Knock that right out of the sky. Boom, just like that. No more drone. Redraw the line in the mountain. You didn't take out the snow. Why is that so thick? Why is that so thick? Thank you. Boom. So now, high desert pioneer drone here. And then this drone has a camera on it. It may or may not still be there. Boom. You turn the tower right here. Zoom into this guy. Right? Because you have the tower. You can zoom in. 
And then you'll see what type of vehicle is that. Boom. And then the zoomed in image will be right over the mountain. So you can see, oh, so now I got some armored armored people in the armored car. Okay. Then you pull out the handy dandy second amendment and then you're ready to go. Like I said, you could also fly this drone down there and bother these guys. But again, you'd have to probably leave the uh, safety of your home or walk up to the hill and like a little uh, condensed mini little area you have. Uh, maybe if you have like a hill or any like elevation change where you can like go and operate outside of your house that has like power, a jack in it. So you can take your laptop out there and plug it in. And you can go mess with these guys. You know what I'm saying? But uh, like I said, they'll be way out there. You have your drone. Now you're looking at them. Now they're looking crazy. Now, hey, now they're looking crazy, right? So like I said, I hope you enjoy the uh, version one of the high-tech homestead. Again, this is maybe a couple thousand bucks, and uh, you and your buddy or your uh, family members will get out there and try a few things, get the camera set up, get a little joystick. The uh, the camera with the joystick, those are expensive. I will say I've, I've only very done like a little bit of looking for those. Those are kind of expensive, so I'll try to put that down in the description below once I get the time to do all that and find all the links in there. But um, thank you for watching. Definitely put any questions you have below. Um, might need like a ham radio license, like a little drone. They have a drone pilot license. Um, I'm not a ham fud or anything, but like in order to understand a lot more just for the course of learning, that would be helpful. Uh, the, depending on the state you live in, they have drone operator licenses you may or may not have to have. If the drone is over 250 grams or what size or weight it is. But uh, yeah, also this is also depends like this that's to purchase it now and if there's like a civil war or like a lizard man scenario or like zombies or or a whatever you know the bubble pops or whatever type of stuff's going on then you'll have all this stuff and you'll know how all the works you know how the signals work you understand jamming and all this other stuff um, i'm halfway done with the reading with the uh, rodian schwartz uh, pamphlets of the electronic warfare um it brought me back to a lot of the uh the stuff that i used to do but um again that uh a lot of the stuff that I used to do in the Marine Corps, but fixing and doing electronics and things like that was really a lot of fun. So to end off this video, I'm going to show you uh, this video here of how it is easy, how easy it is to do your own uh, types of drones and surveillance. Like I said, this is a guy in the UK. Remember, they have different rules over there. He's got this. This looks like a, like a mini MQ-9, like Reaper drone, like a little mini US type of drone. Again, this guy literally made this himself. He, you go online, you can buy these components. Um, they're from all over the different. They're from all over the place. You can buy them. Like I said, you get uh, a little laptop. Open it up. Get the YouTube video. Start watching this. Oh yeah. So these are, sorry, these are like little planks of um, like balsa wood or like little styrofoam. And he literally just um, actually makes the whole thing by hand. Like he literally makes this whole thing by hand here. He even gives you the, the sizes and everything. Like I said, depending on what state you're in, you, you know, RC, you know, like a ham radio license to fly these because there's so many different areas or whatever. Like if you're in a city, you're probably not going to be able to fly it over, you know, 400 feet or a couple thousand feet if you're in an airport or whatever. But like I said, he builds the wings. Look at that. He built the little a little uh, rear stabilizer. I can't remember what they're called. A little rear stabilizer fucking tail. Shows you how to put the engine in. A little arts and crafts. Do, do, do. Probably has some music. I'm not playing it. He does the outer wing here. And now that he does that last little uh, nose cone piece, he puts it on. Boom. Look at that. And then he also shows you how to do all these different things here. The little antenna, the little light, and the little GoPro camera. And also he has another one that's flying in front of this one that you're looking at that's stable enough that he can actually look at. I think it might be like a four copter drone, but he's like flying it like this. And he has the plane going like this so he can record looking at this plane so you can see it as you can see. Because like I say, he's flying over all these different farms. Looks like England or the UK, I think it, it is. So like I said... His the aerial stuff, FPV, first person view. Definitely check them out. Definitely check out this playlist that I have here. There's a lot more stuff in the other uh, versions. Um, there's a, you can also have like a, a pet hawk or a falcon to attack the RC planes like right here. Many different ways you can take care of business. But uh, also in the next one, we'll go over stuff like how to hide from drones. Lessons of Modern Warfare by S2 Underground. Fantastic. Uh, drones have certain types of cameras. They scan certain ways you can get away. Um, another different type of um different types of uh, systems that they use 
to protect like nuclear facilities and other different types of um, industrial places throughout the U.S. and other countries. Um, and a couple other things that are going on. So like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, definitely throw some other stuff that I may have forgotten uh, down in the uh, in the description below. And I will definitely see you later.